Hi guys, today I'm going to do a makeup talk video. I'm going to talk about my week and all that good jazz. I know it's been a lot of craziness happening um, this past few days because of the helicopter crash that killed Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and I think it's eight, eight other people or seven other people, but I know it's all over the news. So my condolence to their families and everybody that was affected by it. Um... So, I'm going to talk about my week, because I know that that's just all over social media, and I know people are probably, like, um, trying to get out of a funk, so we're just going to have a chit-chat and all that stuff. So, basically, last week was so crazy for me, so I had um, car issues, and it's so crazy because last year I had car issues too. Am um, I just putting primer on my face, by the way? Uh, with my bumper, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it in the description box, but Someone hit my car basically last year um, and they just left the scene basically and so it was like a hit and run and my car was like parked so I came out to that and um, then I had to get my car fixed then. So this year um, I was driving to work in my car and like for some reason like my car wasn't going when I hit the acceleration it was like like shaking like doo -doo 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 -doo. so I pulled over and I was like oh my gosh what the heck am I gonna do I gotta get to work so I basically like stopped my car started it up and then I went and then it ended up working I didn't want to get on the highway or anything so it took me longer to get to work so blah 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 so then I tried to go use my car again so it worked that whole day basically but I didn't go I just went to work left work went home and then um the next day so Sunday I was going to church and my car did not make it so I had to just not use my car basically so for the work week um, I had to uh, use my mom's car uh, to get to work so I used my mom's car and when I was on the highway I heard a boom right and I was like, oh, maybe I hit something. I don't know. So I didn't want to pull over because I was like, I'm going to be late for work. I need to get to work. Da -da 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 -da. And then the whole car was shaking. It sounded like this big noise. Like, because I was like, what the heck is going on? So then I had to pull off the highway, obviously, because I was not going to make it anywhere. And I realized that the tire popped. So I was like one after another after another. So then I called like State Farm to get like roadside assistance and then roadside assistance came. They said they couldn't help me because the the spare that I had was dry rotted. So then I had to wait for a tow truck. Literally, the tow truck took three hours. So basically, I mean, that whole process took three hours for them to get to me. So I was sitting there for three hours. Obviously, I didn't make it to work that day, which luckily I didn't have that many clients that day. So that was a good thing. Um, but I'm just like, dang, I literally missed work, but I'm, I'm so thankful that I was okay and nothing happened while I was on the highway. I was able to get off smoothly and all that good stuff. Like, I thank God that I didn't, like nothing happened to me. Um, so that's what happened. So then I had to get that, my mom's car fixed and then later i had to wait till thursday to get my car fixed so that happened tuesday and then i had to get my car fixed thursday because on wednesday i had a dentist appointment so i had to get a root canal so basically i got a crown right here so it's kind of weird like i'm still trying to get used to it because i kind of feels weird like it doesn't belong there <laughs> um it's like a fake tooth basically uh so i did that and yeah so that's basically my week i had a, a lot of car problems um my car was basically like something was wrong with the wiring or some something like that so all of my car stuff is fixed which i'm so happy about because car stuff is super expensive dental stuff is super expensive so i spent a ton of money um in one week basically just non-stop paying 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 so Hopefully, since January has been so crazy, the rest of the year will be smooth sailing because it's been a lot. It's been a lot. So hopefully, you guys' this week has been good. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of what else I could talk about. Um, my weight loss journey. So, hmm. 
I'm still on keto. I've been eating super good. I started counting my calories. I've been counting my calories for like a week now. <clears throat> um, sorry. I'm like getting over something. Like I have like something in my throat. I've been taking Mucinex, but I got sick that day. I had to wait three hours for my tow truck. So I don't think I got sick. I kind of caught it, but I still have like phlegm, which is kind of nasty. But anyways, yeah, what was I saying? My weight loss. So I have been eating super super good i feel like i've been eating so good i've been um i don't work out as hard as i should but i know that i'm gonna start working out with my friend so he's gonna i feel like push me more because i do like just a little bit of cardio i do like 30 minutes of cardio but i do not push myself at all like i do the bare minimum which is still good because i feel like you should just move a little bit obviously so um i'm excited to like start working out with like a workout person or a workout partner so he's gonna help me with that but um i know i'm not supposed to be weighing myself because i know you guys said the scale could be deceiving but i've been weighing myself and literally i feel like i haven't lost anything like the scale is not moving no matter like how little i eat no matter if i fast no matter like it just it's not moving and i'm eating like barely anything i eat like 1200 to 1400 calories um a day which is not a lot at all and i'm like i don't know if i can cut any more out of my out of my diet or i'll be eating like under a thousand calories and i don't know if you can do that and still be like sustain a like life without passing out but um that's what i've been going through right now trying to figure out because it's like super super discouraging and i so don't want to quit because this time i, I just want to do it but I'm like, no matter what I eat or like do, which I'm going to see if working out helps me because I feel like the first time I lost weight, I worked out a lot. So maybe hopefully this will help when I start working out more because right now I'm definitely at a standstill. Like I bet you guys have lost like 10, 20 pounds already and I'm over here like, hmm, I didn't lose any weight. <laughs> it sucks. It literally sucks i don't know why the weight is like holding on but i know sometimes like when you eat less your body kind of holds on because it's like oh when are you gonna feed me next so i'm like i wonder if my body's doing that but hopefully not but that's where i'm in i am on my weight loss that's why i haven't done like weight loss videos lately because right now i'm just like i don't know i just don't want to talk about it because it's like so hard for me and i'm not getting anywhere so i'm kind of like i don't want to come here and be all depressed and be like i'm just super fat you know but i don't want to give up so i'm not going to give up um let me know what you guys are doing in the comment section because like i don't know what i'm doing wrong for my weight to not be like going down basically um i'm trying to think of what else um, my work has been super, super slow lately. Um, I do eyelash extensions, but I work for a company. And I don't know if I should start branching out and doing my own thing. Because I'm an esthetician. And I was thinking about doing, like, like facials again. Or, like, have my own salon or spa situation. But I'm still thinking about that. I don't know where I want to be. I look really, really dry. <laughs> so, I don't know. At this point in my life, I feel like I'm, like, thinking about so many things. And trying to go on different paths. But, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll pray about it and see what I need to do. I need some color in my face. That's what I know. So the camera stopped recording. So I don't know where I was at. But I think I was talking about. Um, what do you guys want to see me film? Because I want to film more often. Because I feel like I don't um, do enough videos for you guys. So I kind of want to get your gist on like what kind of videos you want to see. Because I know right now I've been doing a lot of like makeup talk videos. And just chit chat videos basically. And like I did a contact video which I know you guys like. And I know those colors weren't even able to find. Like, I couldn't even find them either because I didn't even know they weren't out yet. But, of course, when they come out, I will 
leave a link in the description box so you guys can check the contacts out because i know a lot of you guys like the kiwi green which is bomb.com so um i have to find the link to those so i will do that for you guys when it comes out um so yeah i kind of want to do vlogs and stuff because i really 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 enjoy watching vlogs and i love just watching people talk because i don't know i just really like hearing people talk so probably we'll do that i'm gonna go see um bad boys for life i think that's what it's called bad boys for life today so i'm super excited i haven't been to the movies in a while low-key it kind of sucks because i love eating popcorn while i'm at the movies but i can't do that since i'm on keto which kind of sucks i really want to find a diet where i can like balance like food and um eating good but it's like hard for me because if i don't have restrictions i'm gonna eat everything basically so um, keto is kind of easy because it's like I know what I can't eat and I know what I can eat. So it's like easier. Also, okay, comments, concerns. I was thinking about <clears throat> going on diet pills. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good thing, bad thing. Let me know what you guys think about diet pills in the comment section because I kind of want to try diet pills again because I did diet pills the first time I lost all this weight. Um... I don't know if I talked about this in my other video. I did do diet pills. I did, I think it was like Slim Quick. That diet pill for women. And I low-key want to do it again because they have a keto one. But I don't know. I'm I'm contemplating. I don't know if I want to or not. Let me get let me know what you guys think about diet pills, because I want to know if it's a good thing, bad thing. Has things changed since back in the day? I don't know. But I just saw it on Amazon. I can't remember how much it costs. But low-key, I want to try it again. Because I just want to lose weight. And I feel like my body's just not allowing me to. And it's so freaking weird. Or I should just go harder. It's probably because I'm not working out as much. But I don't know. It's so frustrating. I'm <laughs> um, just like uh, slopping things on, basically. No rhyme, no reason nothing special also okay so i'm gonna talk about this hopefully he doesn't watch this but there's this guy i met him like a super 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 long time ago like years ago like i think when i first moved out here and he does photos and i'm like super nervous because he's all like oh i want to take photos of you but i'm like low-key like scared because i don't think i've ever done professional photos other than like you know those those pictures for the yearbook that's it that's all i've done so i'm like i don't know if i want to do that um you know um i barely even take pictures for like instagram as you guys know i used to take pictures like all the time and then i kind of like stopped and i don't know why i stopped because i really enjoyed taking pictures um i think i think because i know it's gonna sound bad but like I feel like I, I don't know, since I've gained weight, I feel like I just feel like I'm just a big plump, like a, like a big plum, basically, so I'm just like, I don't want to take pictures right now, so I think that's why, mm, but I'm learning to love myself as I am right now, but yeah, I feel like this video is just going to be super long of me just talking and talking and talking, but anyways going back to the story so i don't know if i want to do that because i know that he wants to take photos he's been asking me for years and years and years so i don't know if i should take photos with him because he's trying to like master his craft and get better at being a photographer and then he wants to go out to eat and like talk and stuff like that so i don't know if i do you guys will see the photos but if not then you guys won't see the photos but let me know what you guys think because i don't know because i always hear like i don't think he's that type of guy but i'm just like i don't know i'm not even scared about that i just i just feel like i'll just be awkward and it's like okay that was a waste of my time basically well his time because i'm gonna be like oh i don't know i don't know how to pose whatever blah blah, blah. but yeah mm. we'll see what happens because we're supposed to meet up today 
but obviously I'm over here filming a video and I'm not over there taking pictures. But like I said, we'll see. Let me know if you guys have ever done that, like gone to just take pictures. Because a guy was like, I want to take pictures of you. <clears throat> I'm doing my makeup super, super fast. This is what I normally do. Well, when I go to work, it literally takes me like five minutes to do my makeup. <clears throat> and also, I feel like... I haven't even been going out or anything like that. I low-key want to go out tonight, but I'm trying to save money because I've been spending so much money, you know, with all my issues and stuff. And going out is so expensive. Literally, a drink is like $10, $13, and then you end up spending $20 at the door, and then you spend like $70 a night or $60 a night. It's wild. And I want to go on um, vacation for my birthday. So I'm like holding out on that. Sorry, I'm just rambling, guys. <laughs> I just I just be talking. I just be chatting. Oh, and also, so my teeth. Um, my teeth have been getting really yellow lately. So I got like this uh, blue light from Amazon. And I've been trying it out. I've tried it out one time so far. Because I want my teeth to be pearly white since I've gotten everything done for the health wise of my teeth which I'm super excited except for like they want me to get my wisdom teeth out but I'm like give me a break I've already spent a grip of money on my teeth oh shoot so anyways I've been trying out this thing from Amazon so hopefully Hopefully, hopefully, my teeth get white, white, white. I mean, obviously, it's not going to look like Invisalign white because I don't want that. I don't want to look like Tic Tac teeth. But Invisalign still looks gorgeous, but um, that's not that's not for me. So um, what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to add my, my lashes, but I got to go get them. So I'll be right back. This video is probably going to be 20 minutes long, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright, so I added my lashes, and I'm basically done. Um, if you guys made it through this uh, video, thank you guys so much. I know you guys are the real ones, because I know this video is going to be hella long. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, give it a thumbs up if you guys like makeup talks. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you guys can be notified every time I post a video. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next one. See ya.